Well, it would be more like Bonnie. Somebody studying, like I'm going to be an accountant, but I don't want to do the math part because I suck at math. I'm about talking. Hey, uh, this is some ancient footage that we need to understand what this is. Yeah. Well, that judge is clearly not happy. Well, you could have a better attitude. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what do we got so far? All right. Well, we have a, a, a '80s R&B singer in what is obviously a fake courtroom, <laughs> <laughs> but he's on mock trial. Maybe this is like um, that. Now, who is she though? She's just sort of hanging. Is that out. a she? That's I think Al- that's, a he. that's Ali Sheedy, sweetheart. Oh. So it's Ali Sheedy, and then who's the, the cutout? But there's that's a, a mullet, there's a, right? A, a, a jail suit so. cutout of the, of Steve Gutenberg. She's got the girl. Is that the mullet? goot? Yeah. Okay. So so let's say okay. So let's say obviously this is the this is the song that appeared in the movie uh, uh, Short Circuit. So rather than that, when when you think of Short Circuit, you think of three characters. You think of the robot. You think of Steve Gutenberg, and oh yeah, I guess Ali Sheedy was in that as well. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> But do you really think of the Indian guy, right? No, that short circuit too, he was a big he was a he was a tiny character. He had like five lines in the first one. Oh, really? Yeah. Short God, circuit two short was circuit. a number twenty five. Are you saying he was short because he was of his very race? short. His penis was short and he exposed <laughs> it in the show. So what? here's the thing. So Which so it's, one was it two with uh Los Lobos kick your balls and that? Yes, space? no, that's that's short circuit two, which they played the everlasting fuck out of on HBO. They're more than they, oh, they I, okay. I guess I guess it was one of those who was in the grab bin of free rights. Like, yeah, play it as much as you want. We don't care. So they played the hell out of of two. Um, where uh, is it? Los Locos. Los Lo- La- Los Lobos kick your ass. Los Lo- Los Locos kick your think, face. Yeah, Los Locos kick Lobos your balls. Kick your balls into, into outer, outer space. space. Yeah, exactly. What was it? Lobos or Locos? I, I, probably Lobos. Like to think it's Locos. I mean, I, either way, it works. Uh, someone's got to get this fucking. If someone can get this clip, I will actually fucking die. I'll fall over and die. But let's get to the debarge. Okay. So, but 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 I want to point out that you know behind the scenes, this is this is the only serious <laughs> discussion we'll have about it. But they, uh, if, as you watch this, notice how the whole production screams. Yeah, we really wish we could have gotten those other two characters in here somehow. <laughs> So, all right. So, from the beginning. <laughs> is he just like, the guy hasn't done anything and the judge is like, minority. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because he's, he's, he's well-dressed. He's well-dressed. <laughs> and then he gets pushed down when the guy says, oh. <laughs> he gets roughed up and the judge clearly <laughs> approves of the roughing. Yeah. And now and there's Ali Sheedy in a box uh, with uh, a cutout of no, Steve wait, but like, where Oh, is my is God. She on, so is weird. she on the stand? Is she in the jury? Is it a very tiny jury She's box? She's in the penalty box. This is a new sporting event <laughs> called <laughs> called uh, uh, Legal Hockey. And, uh, <laughs> Legal Hockey. And when, when, you're, when you're bad enough, you have to go to the penalty box with Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> Steve All right. has more <laughs> what is this? Why is there a cardboard cutout of Steve Gutenberg in this? So Maybe weird. it's there for moral support. Like, <laughs> like whenever you're thinking, like, oh, what am I doing here? You just look over at that at Goody, and, and he's just like, hey, man, could be worse. You could be a cutout. <laughs> well, you know, if you remember, there was some economic trouble back then too, and they were trying to raise money to support the courts by taking pictures with them. Like you can. Stand next to the cardboard cutout. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Vandalized all over yourself. No. Decorations. Multicolored petroleum byproducts. Los locos kick your ass. Los locos kick your face. Los locos kick your balls into outer space. <laughs> Come on. I will clean you up. But if you had a mop, I would wash it off with soap. Oh, so yes. Locos, right? <laughs> yes, it's Locos. It is well, Locos. Locos. Isn't crazy, By the way, right? uh, I'm crazy. all in on a Shirt Circuit remake. Oh, hells yeah, dude. A reboot dude. of that franchise? Dude, hell yeah. I'm so in on that. Oh, hells yes. All right, so uh, meanwhile, on trial is Ali Sheedy for an undisclosed crime. Oh, 
Okay, so she's, I guess, traditionally, you got the jury on the right, you've got the plaintiff and defendant. Have I lost you, Justin? Uh, no, I'm, I'm getting, let's say theoretically, I have a friend in China. Are you there? Yeah. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. All right. Uh, let's say theoretically I have a friend in China. Apparently he has uh, randomly found himself into a bar where people are uh, are freely smoking pot, where that is a capital offense in that country. <laughs> Holy shit. By the way, iMessage works in fucking China. Big ups to Apple. <laughs> Oh, about that. And fucking what's it called? And FaceTime. I actually was FaceTiming in Shanghai. It was awesome. That's awesome, dude. All right. Uh, All right, hold on. Pause it. I like to call this outfit the big shouldered Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to El DeBarge. The DeBarge. Uh, big, big, big suited, big shouldered big Beetlejuice. And, uh, and wow, by the way, when you're on the sand, stand, when you're on the sand, when you're on the sand, take two, when you're on the stand, it's always good to uh, hit on the, uh, the prosecution. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, somebody, some fucking shitty A and R, uh, you know, exec is listening to this, and they're all pitching ideas for the video or whatever. And it's like, okay, so the hook is who is Johnny? Got to put him on the stand. <laughs> like, Johnny like, is. like, you know, like, and then, and then she turns and she's like, "Who is Johnny?" And he'll be like, "Oh." And then they keep asking it over and over again. Something about, um. Uh, something about like a courtroom and uh, see if you can get all the actors. Maybe get the robot and Steve Gutenberg and they'll be in there. They'll be on the stand too. I'm going to do some more blow. Yes. <laughs> Smells like a hit. <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time it got filtered down to some production people, they're like, oh, all right. When uh, Hartwell's pointing out in the chat realm that uh, this was actually the initial uh, lyric was who killed Johnny? And then they had to soften it up. But oh, this originally yeah. made sense. <laughs> yes. Who killed Johnny? She says, who is Johnny? <laughs> Dirty Mexican. Is he Puerto Rican or Mexican? I can't figure it out. <laughs> He's <laughs> one the of them brown races, that's for sure. <laughs> Judge Stanley. Judge Stanley, the racist music video judge. He's like every white guy in a rap video. That everyone just um, white guys cross their arms more in rap videos than anything else on the planet. <laughs> now this guy is just this excited guy. to be like, yeah, man, give it to him, that dirty old brown person. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> that's what he's thinking. Oh, oh right. so wait, no, so wait, no, so that's the jury. So the fucking Ali is... Sheedy is just in the Sheedy box. She, I think she might be in the press box with uh, maybe she's got the VIP seating. That's what it is. It's like her career has gone to shit. She heard there's a trial. <laughs> and so she took no, her cardboard no, 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 cutout. No. This is actually, this was written into uh, many, the, uh, the bylaws of many states that Ali Sheedy and a cardboard cutout of Steve Gutenberg can attend any trial they want. <laughs> uh, I would like to take one moment to, hold on. I'm not sure how racially diverse this is. I know. Is. I was, I was going to point out that this is not a jury of his peers. There's okay? one. I, I think his... No, the guy next to him is black. What, this guy? This guy's a black guy. It's pretty, pretty shiny forehead, pretty white, black. That guy that's might a, be... A Bond, come on. That's a black dude. Right there? Yeah. Why do they put them together? He's an Oreo... Get your dirty non-white hands off my Bible! <laughs> oh, hit my mallet? Bible before I allow you to touch it. <laughs> 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 Moving around with your darky moves, I'm confused. Dude, he does just look like a cross between like a Puerto Rican uh, Jim Carrey and Billy Holiday. <laughs> 
<laughs> Billy Idol. It's Billy Idol holiday. It's who it is. It's great to be alive. Okay, all right. Number one, here is is the biggest problem, is that we've taken no time to establish what the fuck is going on. No. This is just, they just randomly, all right, so he's theoretically on trial, we guess. There's a jury, Ali Sheedy's fucking hanging out with a fucking cardboard cutout. Cut yes, yes. And at this point, we don't know why she's there completely... Uh, without any emotion, except for the fact that Ali Sheedy was forced to come down and fucking spend a half a, a half a day in 1986 <laughs> fucking around on this shit set. <laughs> uh, well, and she looks like she's just just digging the show. You're like, I just love court procedurals, and I thought I'd come and see how the other half live. I'm sitting out with a cardboard cutout of Steve Gutenberg because that'll attract well, more Har- attention. All right, Harwell and Terrence says it's a music video, jury. You want logic and backstory? That's the point. Music videos have very simple stories. Simple but effectively communicated stories that are are have beginning, middle, and ends. That's what really awesome music videos do. Or they're just concept things that are just you know random nonsense, but they don't pretend to have a story. This is pretending to have a story, and it's failing miserably. Yes, exactly. Here's this. Get up now, dance over that way. You can answer You're my questions over there, and then and then do a twirl. Go. Ah, the evidence. The evidence. The license, and this again, we cut this smash cut to the production assistant in 1986. They're like, "I'm sorry, you want a videotape? So I should just go buy short circuit from the from the store?" They're like, "No, you idiot! Still in the movie theaters." Well, what do I do? He's like, well, "I don't care, but there better be a tape that says short circuit on it by the time we shoot tomorrow." And so by this way, is what we got. So when is this? This music video has got to come out. What mid 80s? Mm-hmm. Like when when short circuit came out? Uh, yeah. So like, is this the equivalent? Of, like, because that looks like a pretty state of the art VHS for that time, right? Oh, no. I mean, that's just standard VHS. And VHS hadn't changed in all the time. I, as a child of the 90s, I know it's hard for you to forget. This is, is this the equivalent of you saying, Grandpa, but like back then, <laughs> did they have VHS? Because I remember I have VHS, but you're so much older. <laughs> I know I'm no 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 I'm I'm just saying that like what what would that equivalent be today in a shitty music video? What would she pull out of? It would be a blank just a just a CD. It would be a CD, right? And it would just no like, CDs nineties. No it would be a thumb drive. It'd be a thumb drive. Maybe a thumb drive. Thumb drive. Or no, they would pull out a full fucking iPad with it loaded on it. Yes. 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 yes I think you. you so this is really about music piracy. <laughs> Uh oh, they're clearly uh, not happy. The CD box. Maybe this is a sex tape, is what it is. Because they know it. Yes. So short circuit is a sex tape, which, uh, which compiles a bunch of premature ejaculation performances. <laughs> <laughs> and they short circuited. <laughs> it just, it just guys like, like, ooh, you're gonna get it. You're gonna go. Oh, <laughs> oh I'll short circuit it. Sorry, baby. You got short circuit Well, now, and here's something that has not changed in the, well, what would you say? 20, 30, 30 years? 30 years, 40 years. 30, I mean, maybe even 40 years. I think uh, the Beatles were the first, right? So, uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about. Specifically, music videos to do with movies. Yeah, music, music videos showing scenes from the movies, right? So it's okay, like that's oh, what oh, I'm so saying. The Beatles, say like, oh, okay, like a Card Day's Night and shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Beatles fucking pioneered it, and we're still, we're still like the ones that really stick out of my mind. And it's like they don't know what shitty movie they're gonna get associated with. So it's like as music ages so much better than film, or, or at least popular music can age in its own direction. Uh, but it's difficult when you see it associated with an unpopular movie, right? So yeah. you're, you're watching Billy Idol singing, and there's scenes from Ford Fairlane in the uh, the Adventures of Ford Fairlane, <laughs> or 
Or um, that is always the worst. And then like Billy Idol or fucking whoever like the pop star is like bumps into the character from the movie. Yes. And, like, gives him a wink. Yes. Uh, Beck uh, in Tropicalia. There's some. There's some. Like all of a sudden, there's just randomly uh, Gwyneth Paltrow or or Brad Pitt. I forget who it is. Um. Well, no, 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 no. Tropicalia. Actually, one of my favorite Beck songs is from A Life Less Ordinary. Yeah, Tropicalia. Yeah, that's the one. No, not Tropicalia, because that was off Mutations, and it was before Mutations. It wasn't. It was. It was a song that wasn't on an album. It was specifically on that soundtrack. Look up the fucking Beck song from Life Less Ordinary. Uh, All right, Beck. Less ordinary. Tropicalia may have been in the movie, but I. But I know the one with you and McGregor and yeah, that's that's I'm certain that's Tropicalia because the music video has like everything black is white and all this other stuff. Um, like uh, like he sits on the beach working, but he yearns to go to a cubicle place. Um, okay, no, we're thinking about two different videos then. No, no, and then they, randomly they just show random footage of Gwyneth Paltrow or, or Ewan McGregor or whatever. Okay, that's not Tropicalia. I, I will guarantee it. it, it apparently, there, there's a stake bet. Man, I don't know. That's no. the way I remember it, but I'll be the first to admit that. Uh... Dead weight. Might be oh, what dead weight is one. Yeah, you're right. Don't let the sun catch you crying. Yeah, no, I like that one. Yes. That's one that goes. Yeah, it goes. Doo, 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 doo. That and that, one. yeah, that's one of my favorite Beck songs of all time. Yeah, no, it is a good one. Well, I think you guys are missing the point. Like, who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? <laughs> Who is Johnny? Johnny? Who is Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> what was is that? Is she supposed to be sexy? She kind of looks like I a don't grandma. know. With the 80s. <laughs> By the way, do you realize how just inappropriately everybody keeps looking at the camera? Like, I think it, that's an 80s not thing, even, man. Yeah, like, they're, they're not playing to it dominantly. They're just randomly looking at the camera. a dominant theme emerge, which is this crazy prosecutor bitch keeps popping up in random places, looking at you directly, pointing at some evidence and saying, who is Johnny? Uh, what I love is the way she gets out of the footage. Like, they shoot it once, they're like, okay, but we're going to be showing stuff, and we don't want you to be fighting us. Why don't you pop in and just sort of lean back so we can see what's on the screen? And so she's like, how shitty is that blue screen? Pause on the blue screen. <laughs> Dude, there are motherfuckers on, there are eight girls on YouTube doing better blue screen than oh, fucking shit, what has yeah. happened there. It was, oh, what's funny is I was going to make a joke about it, be like, what, does she get naked? And I, sh- I shit you not. Next scene. <laughs> a racist judge would be like, well, here's something, maybe. Here's, here's, she yeah, get those naked? are some white titties. He, just, <laughs> he right. said... He's just short circuited. I just short circuited. I just short circuited in my robe. Apparently, there's a lot of fucking stick beating in this movie. I don't remember <laughs> quite so much. I got a stick. I got another stick. Stick. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I did okay, that. Okay, so in that now movie. she's. I guess is she like a character witness? Because now they're showing scenes from the movie Short Circuit, where I assume now Ali Sheedy and Steve Gutenberg are there on. Are they on trial? I well, uh, well, well. The cardboard cutout of Steve Gutenberg. Please approach the stand. <laughs> Apparently guess, she's fucking holding her head. She's like, oh, I didn't realize there was so much stick beating in this movie. 
I think this is a lawyer. I think that's her lawyer dancing around singing. No, Why would you well, put a lawyer on this stand? Prosecuting her no, and, like, I think that's his box, like his, his, his lawyer box. Don't well, because she's with the bad guys, box. right? That, that was the bad guy company. <laughs> yes, right. correct, correct. So these guys have to be the prosecution. Right. He was there at Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Eventually, we lead into what will be the big finish. Johnny Five coming alive in the court. <gasps> oh. <laughs> See, is. production assistant number eight figured out like, hey, man, well, uh, that robot is fucking expensive. You need like five people to handle it. And clearly, Steve Gutenberg won't return my calls. Um, why don't we get... Oh. I just wanted to show that. <laughs> um, and so then they figure out, like, can we just get a hand, like a robot hand? I don't even know if that's the same one from the movie. But listen, all right. But this is like the, the what is it, like Chekhov's rifle. Like, you can't introduce, uh, you can't have Johnny Five's arm popping up behind the weird prosecutor making quote marks if you are not going to pay off with Johnny Five fucking doing a dance in the middle of this courtroom. We'll see. We'll see whether the script writer or the lazy production assistant wins this <laughs> battle. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not the hand from the. That is a fucking. That is a shitty like Spencer's gifts fucking <laughs> thing that you pull the whole lever. <laughs> Spencer's gifts. <laughs> Oh no, something terrible's happened. What? Uh, here's the lesbian, come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this. Oh, my rampant homophobia will never allow me to watch you two girls together. Number one, has there, has there ever been anybody who is... In the, in, in the intervening 25 years of cinema history, more blended, super cute, adorable, and total crazy pussy than Ali Sheedy. Like, her energy what was really 50%, about? like, super adorable, 50%. She probably owns... Psycho pussy. Yeah, she probably owns four knives, and she's killed an animal in her life, but she fucks, like, a fucking, you know, like, her life depended on it. What? And then she'll she probably cuts herself at climax. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, yes, but like that's the kind of like like that was her energy, like that was what like made her a star, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> uh, uh, I think you watched too many of those. What, what channel did it come on? <laughs> what channel? I don't know. What? He's just you. You stayed up. You were saying that it was it, it played over and over again. On, oh, short circuit oh, two on yeah, HBO. On yeah, the HBO. Right. <laughs> no, that was that was too early for me. I, That's I, the look yeah. of a man who is about to who is <laughs> unable to stop himself from watching something he know he shouldn't. Short, short oh, look at the joy coming on his face. It's like you get over here. Oh God. <laughs> what the fuck? A very special girl. <laughs> There's, of course, a cardboard cutout of Steve Gutenberg. He's so You are so white. She's By the way, this an is apron. <laughs> Dude, shit was crazy in the eighties. Hold on, she is wearing an apron. I like the way the prosecution asks a question, and she's like, "Ah, fuck yourself." But like, all right, so is this whole fucking video and movie about like stop snitching? Like, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you fucking keep it together and you don't get your exactly. ass beat on the Everyone's streets. Like all the fucking authority figures, like who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? He's like, fuck you, bitch. I ain't fucking telling you shit, pig. <laughs> I'm pleading the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and meanwhile, the ju- the jury's eating it up. They're like, "Oh snap! You just got served, bitch." <laughs> Was was he looking at his crotch, and did he just bump awkwardly into a cardboard cutout of a very happy Steve Gutenberg who now looks very butt-fucking him? <laughs> Although, look at that bailiff. Doesn't he kind of look like Steve Gutenberg now? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, watch this. Watch this. All right, what is he looking at? Uh, I would say either his, his uh, right heel or his one of the two. Did you see that? <laughs> now that's kind of a fuck you to Gutenberg, right? Yes. Oh, dude, of course. Of that, course. That's the fucking, that's the director being like, all right, fucker. Like, you don't want to show up to the fucking set on time? Then fuck off. Yeah. There goes the the nerdy hot Dude, by the way, look at the black guy in the back. Black guy in the oh. back fucking is in my spirit animal. It was just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking who I want to be. No, but in that pose. And then just like. <laughs> oh, now what irony. I have become black. <laughs> I've learned my lesson as a racist and my days are behind me. It is like that episode of the Twilight Zone movie. (laughs) There was time now to be white, (laughs) but now I can't. Even looks like that. Oh, dude, now the bar is totally going to plow fucking Sheedy. Crazy pussy, yeah. He's going to fucking get in Sheedy's box. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) One more time. What was that about a payoff and finally Johnny Five shows up or something and, uh, well, I would, I would say that was, but we would should have it, but apparently... Why don't know what happens? The, the 80s, production for some reason, assistance. you did not need a fucking uh, an excuse ever to just start dancing. <laughs> Dance parties fucking could threaten to break out at any fucking moment. There was never a point when it wasn't a threat. I really wish I had that power just to declare now's the time for a dance party and it just start. Yeah. Where That'd would you like cool. to do it, though? Like, you know, where, if I was like, a superhero, there... that would be my talent. That would be my... You'd be fucking Dance Central? Yeah, I would. Everywhere. It was like, it's an 80s video wherever I go, whenever I want, you know. Like, See, but also, the other cool thing about, like, like the, the 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 high winds, like, when a, before a hurricane comes in, like, you get, like, the choppy seas, you get a little bit of a, of a, of a strong breeze. Like, the choppy seas and strong breeze for an 80s video dance party was, like, there's a lot of winks. There's a lot yeah, of pointing. Yeah. There's a lot of like, like it just starts off with like fucking like, oh shit, you're the bad motherfucker. Like, oh no, you didn't pull that on me. Ah, and then all of a sudden, like, as soon as you get enough, like four fucking points and like two wings, and you got enough Conditions points to fucking right. add at the dance party, your life bar, your 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 fucking XP bar oh, is shit. just like flickering, you know, different colors, and you can just double tap dance party all right can we can we go ahead and and put on the agenda that this one needs to be in the future oh my god (laughs) yes 